The supply of calcium to orchids often causes relatively great difficulties, but there shouldn't be any. One of the reasons is that commercial fertilizers usually do not contain calcium. This is because calcium combines with phosphate and sulfate in the fertilizer solution to form a salt that is difficult to dissolve, resulting in these particles to collect at the bottom of the solution and is therefore no longer available to the plants. For that reason, calcareous tap water is often recommended as an alternative for supplying plants with calcium. However, the calcium in tap water is bound as hydrogen carbonate and is therefore hardly accessible to the orchids and cannot be used as a source of calcium. When the tap water evaporates, a white grey coating will remain, which we can define as scale. Not the pest, but the mineral residue that stays behind once the water has evaporated. So it is not a good idea to water orchids with tap water because the roots literally calcify and are no longer able to absorb water and nutrients in general. A common example then is often recommended liming the substrate for slipper orchids. And this is the main topic about calcium absorption when it comes to slipper orchids. Liming the substrates for slipper orchids is not an effective practice to supply them with calcium, even though it is often stated as fact. What liming the substrate actually does is adjust the pH value of the media. So let's explore this useful tidbit of intel. When it comes to slipper orchids, simply because of the fact that slipper orchids prefer to have a more acidic climate around their roots. And then the quantity of carbonate of lime would translate into 5 grams of carbonate of lime, which can be sprinkled into the media before potting the slipper orchid up. Then it is suggested that a so-called maintenance liming should be carried out regularly every two or three months to keep the pH value in the media at approximately 5.5 to 6.5, the acidic range that slipper orchids favor. Subsequently, in order to maintain that pH range in the pot, the quantities of calcium carbonate should then be around 3 grams, just sprinkled onto a pot. And if we consider the size of the pot as eight centimeters, that would be the quantity that is being suggested. And it's just to give you an idea. I am not suggesting you do this. I'm giving you what is out there as information and quasi debunking it. Anyway, after having sprinkled carbonate of lime on the surface of the pot as part of the liming maintenance throughout the subsequent months after repotting, the pot should only be watered gently. Better still, sprayed carefully at the surface so that the carbonate of lime is easily slurried into the media. Clearly, if you were to pour water through the pot too radically in form of a flush, the lime will just wash out immediately, being completely ineffective when it comes to keeping the substrate acidic. So now I'm going to circle back to complete the thought process of calcium absorption, which is not what adding lime is about. Because if you look at the pH range that liming would create in the pot, it is out of the range for optimal calcium absorption. Well, and let's expand on that and other funky tips for slow release of calcium. That would be eggshells, not even powder lime, but chunks of lime or shell lime. All these will also not provide the desired buffer effect for the substrate and neither will it do anything for calcium absorption because the lime solubility of these additives is more likely to be in the range of years, making these kinds of additions completely ineffective for both calcium absorption and the pH regulation of the substrate straight and if you have any doubt calcium is best absorbed by any plant within a pH range of 6.5 and 7. Feel free to take a screenshot of this pH chart it will help you in the future. Yes slipper orchids like a more acidic climate around their roots however if you are applying calcium and think that the carbonate of lime will do just that potential deficiencies may show up simply because of the fact that the media is far too acidic for the plant to even absorb any calcium any questions hit me up in the comments thank you so much for watching